the next thing we're going to work on is talking about using a checkbox and using an if then statement so we're going to combine those two uh, informations in one lecture so what we're going to do is we're going to add a checkbox to uh, to one of our worksheets there same deal you're going to go to the developer ribbon and insert checkbox but I wanted to tell you a little bit about checkboxes the reason they're a little bit different is because their value cannot be a word it's going to be either true checked or false unchecked this is something that's called boolean boolean logic says it's either one way or the other there's no gray area it's either true or false uh, so and then you can perform an if then statement based on whether it's true or false whether it's checked or not so let's go ahead and explore a little bit on that uh, here's a little bit about the details but I wanted to show you this slide as well because we're going to give it two messages so if it's checked we're going to say something like you clicked it and it's true if it's unchecked when we click it it'll pop up and say hey this checkbox is false or it's unchecked so let's get down to the demonstration let's make a new sheet and zoom in a little bit again in the developer ribbon we insert we do an ActiveX checkbox not a form one because those are gross ActiveX checkbox again we can change the properties and change the caption I'm just gonna let it say checkbox one now we're in design mode so I can double click on it and edit some code right away you notice the container still remembers or acknowledges that we're modifying code for sheet four, not any of the other ones. And we're doing checkbox one underscore click. So you don't have to remember all that. All you have to do is write this code. So we're going to say if checkbox one, which is the current control we're dealing with, if that one equals true, then, and I'm going to hit tab so I can see my, my first if it's true message and we're going to do a message box so I guess technically we're, we're doing three lessons in one because the message box is a cool little pop-up that'll display whatever you want so we're going to say you clicked true and we're going to say else meaning if it's false uh, message box you let's see let's well, stick to the script huh checkbox is false and unchecked basically and then we must put end if otherwise this would get mad at us so we can go through that we can actually debug through it or I can just show you I think I'd rather just go ahead and show you so we're off of design mode and now we can go ahead and click on it the moment of truth so when I clicked it it became true and then it ran the macro as true it says you clicked true I'm gonna hit OK if I click it again it says checkbox is false unchecked and you can just do that until you get bored with it but when you're new it's pretty fun pretty uh, gratifying so that is how to use the checkbox same deal if you're in design mode you can expand collapse do whatever you want with the size and if you right click on properties you can change the different facets of it you can do that uh, dynamically with code so checkbox one dot height let's say you wanted the height to be 40 you could say checkbox one dot height equals 40 or dot left is a uh, hundred so it may be over here instead of 63 so all those facets of those things can be dynamically changed with code or you can right click in properties and change those